Hey guys, welcome in. We're just gonna be talking about some stuff with the new season, Dread Factor. I just wanna see, how's everyone been liking it? Is there anything that you guys feel like maybe you aren't sure on how to play? Maybe something that you wanna have me cover a little bit? Let me know down in the comments below. But this is just gonna be some gameplay. I just wanna kinda showcase some of the stuff that I've been doing this season. So as you can see, we got Fenrir. Uh, one of the ways that I really enjoy playing Fenrir is by throwing out the gadgets. Uh, if you got gadgets outside, you can activate them and deactivate them. Get you a little more intel. And then if you got someone playing somewhere else to run out, it kind of gives you a lot of extra info. Especially if you got a good hiding place. Like on here, we got basement with that little light fixture above us. We can throw out a Fenrir to try and hit just the perfect side. So that way it's really kind of hard for them to get an angle to hit it. But it still covers quite a bit of that front area now one of the other things to keep in mind with Femir is you can only have three activated so having a nice good second place maybe somewhere that they push somewhere that's kind of a nice cover just kind of ensures that your team is going to be set up for success so you'll see that i try and put them on really crucial choke points that um they might have some operators now it was my impression that when they're activated you can still deactivate them if someone's in them so you can activate another one to prevent them from getting shot it turns out that that is not the case as you'll probably see here we've got quite a few Fenrirs deployed all of them to be in, you know all matter of fact about it but you'll see this one is activated now and they shoot it I did turn towards it to try and deactivate it, but unfortunately it just fuse might be coming down cargo. was already gone. Now, one of the other changes that you'll notice is smoke canisters are going to start hurting your team. My teammate, graceful as they are, didn't realize that was a change, I think. Uh, but you'll see plenty of times hey, that, that's on where the, uh, small room. that might come into a problem for everybody. Um, but it's something that you can always try and keep in mind, you know, so When you're playing this new season if you've got your Fenrir's and you got a smoke you can try and combo them together Provide a little bit of damage with their inability to see and then make it even worse by taking away their ability to see a bit more but It's not necessarily always gonna work out the way you plan it Now what we're going to take a look at next is well there's this new peak that i want to show you guys and i'm going to show you how it can go wrong i'm going to show you how it's supposed to go kind of so it's on consulate the new map um they actually gave us a new spawn peak they said that they took a look at every single angle and well they did mostly and this one's pretty niche but just want to show you guys something that's going on with it so here we have this window that you can climb on top of well you can also fall down it so keep that in mind but when you do it perfectly you can actually get a pretty decent angle to where you can see inside spawn and you're gonna be pretty set up for success you know you're gonna be you're getting to walk more or less you're gonna be trying to look towards the two angles that i'm looking that's where they're gonna spawn is uh parking i believe is what it's called the hard in, part in, is in, that the right audio now. will start to like come through you'll essentially hear them repel to the west of you which is bad for everyone so when you see that you kind of just have to take it for what it's worth now, if you have someone on yellow stairs peeking that soft wall, it's kind of nice. But as you can see, you can hear a drone getting thrown. And it sounded real close, but it wasn't. So, that's another thing to keep out for. The last thing that I say is uh, just trying to keep in mind that not everyone's going to spawn somewhere that you can actually peek them. We do have one other peek that I want to show you guys eventually, but it's going to take a minute for that to actually come around so please be patient on that regard so the things that we were doing before on night haven labs you're gonna be able to do on other maps slightly more effectively like here on canal 
you can activate your gadgets and you're going to be able to immediately run out on them right you're going to treat them like enhanced proximity sensors that's the way i'm playing Fenrir, and that's kind of what i like to know about you know what the new operator gadget can be played as right you could play it for like a long angle or Ash something printer. like that but generally long angles aren't siege's dichotomy you know it's a very close combat game you're not going to have too many things too many gunfights that are over 10 meters right so you're gonna probably want to be playing real close to them so that way that when they go off you can do something that's a little closer to what you can see happen here now some of it's a little luck based and maybe keeping one in your pocket like i did here might be the tech it's kind of hard to tell it does seem like a lot of people can just turn and instantly shoot it because they'll be able to see it it's always within the range or allegedly always within the range but there's no way to tell you know so the best way to do it is normally just to go about your business as best you can and try and figure it out while you're at it now one of the things that i like to do for sure is i like to try and stream i like playing the game i like streaming the game sometimes it's kind of hard for me to come up with exactly what i want to say in a video I i'm still new at this you guys know this so stop by the stream sometime you'll be able to see things like this nutty ace that happen but if you're more interested in the nutty ace kind of stuff than the things that are different about the season or things that you can do without reading the patch notes or you know if you've read the patch notes but you want to see some of the cool new stuff that other people find you know i want to do videos like that too now it's not always going to be something i can do it's always going to be different for every game i do too i know some of you have taken notice that i've started doing videos on other games too and that's just because i like playing more than one game i'm not just a seed player i'm kind of an all-around player if you will so something to keep in mind is that you know not everyone is going to be able to keep up with the type of content that i want to put out but unfortunately that's the kind of content that i want to put out is content that helps break the barrier to entry for every game that i enjoy playing and i hope that you guys come and join me and learn as i'm learning so that way that we can all play the games at a little bit of a higher level together now hopefully you guys are interested in seeing some of this other content in the future for today this is all we've got tomorrow i hope to have a video for you that is filled with tips that can help you improve your individual performance in rainbow six siege and then on saturday we're gonna try and see if maybe we can spice that up a little bit uh, by doing some live stream content that maybe won't bleed over just as well but hopefully you guys stick around for that too if you guys need any of the links they're down in the description i appreciate you guys all for coming and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.